If you want to help us out, we are on Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash 7lamb, the number 7 L-A-M-B, and you can donate as little as a dollar a month, and it all goes to helping us create podcasts such as Movie Night. Once again, that's patreon.com slash 7lamb, the number 7 L-A-M-B. Seven Lamb Productions presents Movie Night, Season 2, Episode 2, Sailboat. Damn this traffic. Why did we leave during rush hour? This is when Kelly could go. She works out here. You want her help or not? Ugh, working with the freaking enemy. Relax, we get all our shopping done now and we're good. Who goes mall shopping anymore? Amazon is everything. Kelly knows what Daisy likes. And you don't? Not anymore. Not since she went full lesbian. She's always been bi, Brad. Yeah, you say that, but you didn't know that. So, I was watching Aliens the other day. Changing the subject? Obviously. Okay, well, don't let me miss the turn. Stop weaving in and out of traffic and you won't. They're driving too slow. So anyway, aliens. Was it the director's cut? Yeah. It's a good cut. Not needed, but it's fine. I mean, I own it, so why not? I get it. So I'm watching it and I just realized for the first time that during the battle... In the hive? Yeah. Perfection from Cameron. That scene is so badass. Oh, it still gives me goosebumps. Right? But I'm watching that scene, and I always remember Hicks shouting, Where's Bowski? Where's Bowski? You mean when he died? Yeah, but the guy's name is Where's Bowski? Yeah? I thought his name was Bowski, and Hicks was shouting, Where's Bowski? Oh, because they all split up. It's right after the explosion, and the aliens start attacking. You hear a guy screaming, and, and Hicks yells, Where's Bowski? It's been nearly two decades since I first watched Aliens, and I'm just now catching that the guy's name was Where's Bowski. I couldn't believe it. Well, it's a weird name. But it's his last name. Still weird. Yeah, and Frost, Hicks, Hudson, Gorman, those aren't that unusual. Spunkmeyer? Yeah, that one's odd. Even for the future. You know, I had a similar situation as well. With aliens? No, with Lord of the Rings. Fellowship. For the longest time, I never knew what Gandalf said. When he dies, turns out it's fly you fools? After battling the Balrog? Yeah, the thing falls, grabs him, and right before he slips off the bridge, he says, Fly, you fools. But I thought he said, Follow, you fools. Follow? Why would he say follow? I don't know. I kept wondering why he wanted them to follow him. I mean, follow him to what? His death? Well, he didn't really die. You know what I mean. I kept forgetting to look it up until surprisingly, one day when I'm high as fuck and put on the subtitles, he says, Fly, which I guess is just a different way of saying run. So, run, you fools. Yet Frodo didn't listen and decided to walk the rest of the way. Right. Or maybe Gandalf was trying to give Frodo the hint to just use the damn eagles. Fly, you fools. <laughs> yeah, you idiots. Fly to Mordor. What's with all the walking? Although it was his idea. I love Lord of the Rings, but goddamn if Clerks 2 didn't sum it up perfectly. Ah, Kevin Smith. The Seinfeld of film. Really? Yeah. You think his movies are about nothing? Maybe not nothing, but... Hardly something. There's character arcs. More like straight lines. How did we go from Eagles to bashing Kevin Smith? I'm not bashing him. I like that about his films. Clerks is amazing because of the pop culture breakdowns and sharp dialogue. His commentary on Lord of the Rings was spot on in Clerks too. It was a lot of walking. <sighs> Should have used the Eagles. They used them before. Hey, what are you doing? Making a U-turn. You missed the turn? You didn't remind me. Where are they? She just texted me. They're at the food court. We were at the mall because we all needed to get something for Daisy for her birthday coming up. I didn't want to spend a lot, but I'd be damned if everyone else got her more expensive gifts than me. I figured if I dropped a good amount, maybe she would finally cave and introduce me to her girlfriends. We would be celebrating on movie night, but also plan for a Sunday dinner. Apparently, Daisy would be doing a girls' night with her other friends on Saturday. If I purchased the right gift, maybe, just maybe... She would allow me to tag along, or at least introduce me to some of her other friends another time. Hey there. I just don't see why I can't get a restraining order, too. I told you to do it when it happened. Now it may be too late. Oh, which one of Kelly's exes are we talking about now? Same one. What was his name again? Chad? Todd? Marcus? Close. 
Frank. That's it. I knew it was a douchey name. Marcus isn't a douchey name. <laughs> Trust me, it can be. Guy you work with? All he does is brag about slaying poon. Does he actually use the word poon? Sometimes he swaps it for tail or puss. Jesus, puss? How old is he? That's the sad part. He's 42. That's the sad part? Not the fact that he's describing women like conquest? Nah, I think the sad part is he's 42. You know, I like how you left your name off the douche list. Brad isn't douchey. Are you kidding me? The name Brad belongs on a douche plaque. Really? Guys, Brad is a douchey name. Yeah. Yeah. At least I don't use the word poon. You don't? Mm, Not all the time. So, Anderson, you're getting a restraining order? Kelly thinks it might be too late. He should have filed for one when I did. After the scuffle during movie night? It wasn't a scuffle. Anderson got his ass kicked. I didn't get my ass kicked. Listen, Anderson, I know you're going for a Will Kane vibe, but the whole situation played out less like High Noon and more like The Ridiculous Six. Who was he? Taylor Lautner's character. Whatever. Can you stop, Brad? I calls him like I sees him. I'm actually surprised you sees The Ridiculous Six. Watching an Adam Sandler comedy is a beautiful destructive quality to it. I'm unable to look away. When you say things like that, it's hard for me to trust your reviews. <laughs> Good critics have to watch bad films all the time. Guys, this is going to take a couple hours. Can we begin? A couple hours? The fuck? We're shopping for Daisy. She likes clothes. And we need to find something for everyone to purchase. So yes, it's going to take a while. I don't have a couple hours. No? You got to rush home and watch Murder Mystery? No, but I'm not going to waste my whole night shopping for someone who barely enjoys my company. Barely enjoys? More like reluctantly tolerates. Hey, Anderson, what about that girl over there? She's hotter than Kelly, and I can tell she has a better personality, too. No, thanks. What? Does she need bigger hair? You should be nicer to me, Brad. Why? I'm only here because Josh dragged me here. You drove. If you want to find something nice for Daisy, you'll need my help. I can find her something. Something good enough that will entice her to introduce you to her girlfriends? How? Goddamn, Anderson. I didn't say anything. Please, Brad. It's pretty obvious. You wouldn't be here if this wasn't in some way going to benefit you. Eh, that's fair. So, let's begin this way. Are we done yet? No, I need to run over to Route 21. Why? I didn't get her anything. All we did was shop for you guys. Well, I'm done. I can't believe you dropped $80. Did you buy that whole outfit? The shirt and the cardigan. That's all. 80 fucking dollars. That's more than I spent. She better fucking introduce me to her friends. Why can't you just buy her something because she's a friend? Does there always have to be an ulterior motive? I have never spent more than $20 on a friend. So yes... There's going to be an ulterior motive. I'll be quick. Just in and out. <laughs> Don't use Anderson's pickup lines on me. You know, at least I have a girlfriend. Meaning what? <laughs> I think it was pretty obvious. You're spending $80 on a girl in the hopes of meeting another girl. Hey, when did Anderson get a backbone and an attitude? Ever since my fight. <laughs> but it wasn't a fight. I'll be 20 more minutes, guys. But, Josh, do we have to wait? We drove separately. You guys can leave. Can we? You drove. That's right. What the hell are we still doing here, then? Let's go. We'll see you guys Friday. I'm bringing a cake. A birthday cake? No, a freaking Friday cake. Yes, a birthday cake. But her birthday is Sunday. But we're going to celebrate Friday. So we have to have the presents wrapped by then? I don't know. I think we're doing present Sunday. Why are we doing cake on Friday? Just to be nice. Jesus, Brad. When is her actual birthday? Monday. So we're doing cake Friday. She's going out with friends Saturday, and then we're doing dinner on Sunday? You got a problem with that? Should we roll out the red carpet on Monday? (laughs) We'll see you guys Friday. Josh pushed me forward and we headed off, leaving Kelly and Anderson to do more shopping. Holy shit. What? Is that Cooper? What the hell? Cooper was sitting on a bench with a box of Auntie Anne's pretzels. Was he meeting us here? Not that I know of. Cooper? Oh, hey guys. He looked sick as he slowly chewed the half-eaten pretzel in his hand. What are you doing here? Are you all right? Oh, I'm so full. So stop eating. But there's five pretzels left. So? So Brody doesn't let me bring food in his car. 
Who the fuck is Brody? His roommate. So I have to eat all of these before we leave. Where is Brody? He's shopping with Jay. Why did you order so many pretzels? They were free. How? How does he always get free shit? The lady in the food court had a coupon she said she had to use today. Two free boxes, so she gave me one. Just a random lady. I think she saw me making my rounds in the food court. Trying to get free samples? I think she felt bad. Well, that makes more sense. So now you're stuffing your face because you don't want them to go to waste? Can't you give them away to someone? I tried. I've offered a pretzel to every kid that's passed by. You're trying to pass them to kids? Yeah, look, watch. Hey, kid, you want a sweet treat? Cooper waved a pretzel around at the kid walking next to his mother. Dylan, stay close to me, honey. Jesus, Cooper, what the hell are you doing? Trying to give away pretzels. By saying sweet treat? They're cinnamon glazed. Sweet treat is what it says on the box. See? You can't fucking shout at kids that you want to give them a sweet treat. Why? Because you look sick. You got glaze dribbling from your mouth, and it's a creepy thing to just shout at someone, especially a child. Do you guys want a sweet treat? No. No, thank you, Coop. What are you guys doing here? Shopping for Daisy's fucking birthday. When's her birthday? Monday. Oh, shoot. Forgot. That's not surprising. Ugh. I cannot eat any more. Then stop. <laughs> Jesus. Do you want to ride home, Cooper? Can you give me one? I'd rather yes, not. Yes, we can. Then you can bring your sweet treats with you. Cool. I'll text Brody. Text him as we leave. We gotta go. Why? Because that mother and child are coming back this way with security because you're offering them sweet treats. That's him. Damn it, Coop. Oh, shit. Let's go. And they chased you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can't go back to the mall. The crazy thing is, is Cooper's so naive, he probably doesn't even realize it's that big of a deal. Brad and I tried explaining it to him, but he pretty much went into a sugar coma on the way home. Think he'll want some of this cake? It's a new day, and it's free food, so of course he's going to eat some cake. Oh, it's so pretty. I almost don't want to eat it. But we are going to. Well, of course. My mom and I worked on it all day. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Can we have some now? Shouldn't we wait for Brad and Cooper? Why? It's my birthday. And now they're here. I can't believe you guys beat us. You drove Cooper? He was walking on the side of the road, so I picked him up. Why are you barefoot? I didn't want to be late. Don't read too much into it, Josh. Hobbits are odd people. Wait, hobbits aren't people. Whatever. Brad, are you holding a present? Yes, an expensive one. I was going to say how sweet. What are you going to say now? Mm, What do you want? To get closer to your friends? Of course. It's really expensive. Wait, are we doing gifts right now? Yeah. What about cake? Fuck your cake. I thought we were saving presents for Sunday dinner. You didn't bring them? They're on the chair by the door. Anderson. Oh, looks like I'm the only nice one. Well, since I live here, I have a present, too. I thought we would do cake today and presents on Sunday. Oh, let's be crazy and do cake and presents at the same time. Here. Thanks, Brad. Anderson, I can't believe you left the presents. We weren't supposed to do them today. That's what you said. But I also said to put them in the car. I didn't want to forget them on Sunday, since I have to work in the morning. Why didn't you grab them? I had the cake. You could have told me. You don't see me carrying a cake? I thought that's all we needed. Is this the end of Anderson and Kelly? Is this the final straw? Tune in next week to Who Gives a Fuck? Wow, Brad. You picked this out? Yep. Well, he took it off the hanger. You were with him, weren't you? If I wasn't, he would be handing you a Magic Eye Hidden Pictures book. Magic Eye? You know, those pictures that are all blurry, and when you unfocus and relax your eyes, you see a hidden picture? It was cool, and they were two for one at that used bookstore. Brad, you couldn't even see any of the pictures. Yeah, I could. You thought every one of them was a sailboat? No, there was one of a whale. Under a sailboat. Well, thank you for not buying me that. This is much better. Don't ever go shopping without Kelly, please. I left the receipt in the box. 
I'm not going to return these. No, I wanted you to see how much I spent. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Where's your present? I'll go get it. So, Days, think you'll invite me to this get-together tomorrow night? You mean Sunday? No, that one includes all of us, but Josh said you're doing a girls' night tomorrow night downtown, so... It's a girls' night, Brad. Yeah? How about next time I do a game night, I'll invite you, okay? And your friends will be there? Yes, but you better behave yourself. Yeah, sure. Will do. Here you go, Daisy. Aw, thanks, Josh. <laughs> Inside was a long sleeve shirt and Tampa Bay Rays ball cap. I didn't know why she needed a cardigan and a long sleeve shirt since we live in Florida, but whatever, at least mine costs more. Thank you, Josh. This is great. Did Kelly help you too? Yeah, but I picked out the hat. I'm so proud of you. I got you something too. Really, Coop? Yeah. Uh, even Cooper brought a present? I'm sorry. Cooper pulled out a wadded gift from his back pocket. Um, is this a pretzel? Yeah, cinnamon glazed. You wrapped it? Is this from your trip at the mall yesterday? I ate the others, but I saved you this one. Thanks, Cooper. We'll bring your gifts on Sunday. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, now let's cut this cake and start the movie. Kelly carefully cut the cake into even pieces. She passed them to everyone and we all got ready on the couches. The cake was really good, but I would never admit that to Kelly. Oh my god, this is great. I heard better. What were we laughing? Ball rat. After you bashed Kevin Smith. Shut up. Movie starting. Movie Night. Written by Robert M. Lamb. Edited by Issa Yalsazadeh. Starring Robert M. Lamb as Josh. Catabelle as Daisy. Brian Messick as Brad. Jack Austin as Cooper. Hope Ennis as Kelly. Nick Engelhardt as Anderson. Co-starring Christina Lewis. Music provided by Kevin McLeod of Incompetech.com. If you enjoy this podcast, don't forget to rate and review. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at 7 Lamb Podcast. Visit www.7lamb.com to find more audio dramas such as this one. This has been a 7 Lamb production.